I don't have specific ingredients, I have like categories of foods. So the first one is uh, whole grains. So I tend to have lots of whole grains in my foods in my kitchen. So frika, bulgur wheat, uh, short grain brown rice, these are all like beautiful bases for foods. And they also have lots of B vitamins in, lots of fiber. So really important to have some whole grains in your diet, even things like oats. I always have uh, pickles. So some sort of pickles that you keep in the fridge. Fermented foods are really popular right now because they're very good for your gut health. They feed up your microbes and they have probiotics. I always have uh, some allium vegetables. So it's the third thing. So allium being uh, from the allium family, we have onions, spring onions, uh, fennel, uh, celery, those are beautiful sort of bitter notes that you find in food and they're very good again for your gut microbes because they have prebiotic fibers. Um, the fourth thing is I always have a paste, so different types of curry pastes, uh, even things like Korean gochujang, uh, daejang, um, I'll have uh, even things like pestos, store-bought pestos, but if you want to make a quick pasta, uh, pestos are really important. Uh, and then the last thing is uh, freezer foods. So uh, peas, sweet corn, mixed vegetables, because they're frozen at source, they're actually quite nutrient dense. So they don't have as many like issues with regard to handling and stuff. So frozen foods are really convenient sources of nutrition. So I always have those. Uh, I would say plate content for sure. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I probably eat quite large portion sizes because I, I exercise quite a bit. Um, but uh, I think the quality of what you put on your plate is a lot more important than the calories or the macro content or the size of it. Um, that way you know you're getting diversity of ingredients and that's actually going to be feeding your well-being. In this region, oh, so it probably has to be za'atar. Uh, I know it's not a food as such, but like the flavor is amazing. I'm having fresh za'atar, it's quite hard to get in the UK, so we really have the dried versions. But za'atar over here is like, I made, they put it in everything and I love it. I had it with uh, tomatoes, baby tomatoes, pomegranate molasses, pine nuts, and good extra virgin olive oil. It was amazing. 